welcome back to my channel, sports fans. Okay, let's get into this one right here. The Boston Celtics will not win an NBA championship this year. I'm sorry, folks. The Boston Celtics will not win an NBA championship this year. I, I, I just can't take them serious. I, I can't. This is a number six seed that Boston is playing, and I'm not trying to diss any Pacer fans, and I'm not trying to diss any Boston fans. This is why I really don't talk about the Celtics on my channel in the playoffs because what is there to talk about? These guys have failed the past three, four seasons, right? We saw what they did last year. They got beat by the Beach Boys, Miami. And yes, they only lost one game in each playoff series. But man, if you're talking about an all-time great team, they should be able to sweep these teams. They should be able to sweep these teams, these real lower seed teams. And you take a team like the Pacers, what are, what are we talking about? They're only in the Eastern Conference Finals because of what? Dame Dash, uh, Dame Dash, <laughs> Dame Time supposedly hurt himself, and Giannis supposedly hurt himself, and then what's this guy, Ananobi or something like that, and Brunson supposedly hurt themselves. Folks, you don't see this stuff back in the 80s and 90s. You, you just don't see this stuff. You see Larry Bird playing and barely walking, coming out of the locker room and still playing. You see Isaiah Thomas hobbling on one leg to play. You see Bernard King busted up knee and all, torn ligaments, still coming back to work, still doing the damn thing. These players today are soft and fraudulent. And they didn't say nothing on the media about none of this stuff about these guys. Good luck, you guys. Keep betting on these games. <laughs> Keep betting on these damn games because some of them is looking rigged. Zion, what about in the play-in? This guy supposedly hurts himself when he goes out for the shot. It's okay. He comes down. He starts walking. Okay. But he has to get taken out of the game. Like seconds later, walks out the, the, the arena just fine and can't play in the upcoming uh, playoffs. It's trash. This, this stuff is looking fixed to me. There's no way Boston should have pulled this out by five points. 128? Boston let these guys score. You just let these guys run up and down the court scoring? Where's that Boston defense? Where's the defense? So let me guess, if, if Boston let these guys score, let the Pacers score this much, and the game was this close in Boston, so I, I take it the Pacers are going to win at least two, right? What, what are we talking about? A number six seed. This is a team that the Lakers beat in the bubble. I mean, not in the bubble, the in-season tournament. Spanked them. Spanked them. And I'm going to tell you what, the, the, the Pacers shouldn't even be in this spot. The Knicks should have took care of business. It shouldn't even went to a game seven. What are we talking about? So maybe the Celtics do 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 sweep this series, but man, I just can't take them serious, man. They're, they're, they're not beating. Um, when they're barely winning games like this, they was doing this stuff when they was playing Cleveland too. Um, I, I just don't see them beating the Wolves. I, I just don't see it. If they got to play. Minnesota, it's over. They're not going to beat Minnesota. If they can't clamp down on the Pacers team, who's, who's your superstar on that team? Halliburton? That that That's your uh, – I'm not dissing them, but I'm just saying as far as a scorer, who's your uh, superstar scorer? Halliburton. Give me a break. Yes, I know they're playing with a team effort, a group effort, and stuff like that, but they're a number six seed. Come on now. These guys can't, the Pacers can't lock you down on defense. I'm sorry, they just can't. And that's why they're a number six seed. Okay, not because they're offensive effort or nothing like that, because they play as a team, which is great. But they can't lock nobody down. They don't have that kind of presence. Maybe Siakam, that's about it. 
Halliburton is not all that. I I I just can't, man. I, I just see the Wolves just laying it, laying it to the Celtics. You just don't know what you're gonna get out of Jalen Brown and Tatum. They just like so up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. You don't really have no true leader on this team. When your second best option is getting paid the most money in the NBA, who, who's really the leader of this team? I'm not trying to say Jalen uh, Jalen Brown or Tatum had a bad game, but I'm just trying to tell you, man, the defensive effort, the, to 128 points, they had to put up 133 just to beat the Celtics. I mean, just to beat uh, the Pacers. That, that's un unacceptable, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh folks you can't make this up you you cannot make this up let me let me check out this box score real quick you gave up 120 and i don't even think nobody's been giving up 128 and you would think the team that wouldn't be giving up 128 <laughs> i mean Halliburton is just like <laughs> He, he, he playing like a primetime score. What is this? 8 for 18 from the field. 6 of 14 from 3. When you ever know this guy to be a big-time three-point shoot, big time three point shooter until he came into the playoffs? He he shoots like he's playing volleyball. This set shot looking. <laughs> I'm not trying to diss you, Pacer fans. I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to tell you what the reality is. They are a number six seed. They've been winning these series by default. 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 Milwaukee. New York. New York should have handled business way before it came to that. Halliburton had 25 points, 10 assists, 6 for 14 from three. Four, got fired up 14 threes. That's incredible. And this is a problem. All these people say, oh, Ben, they couldn't hit the three back then. If you fire up 14 threes, you trying to tell me the guys in the past couldn't get to 37%, uh, 30, 38%, 40%, 14 threes? <laughs> you got to be nuts. Let me check this out. So Tatum had 36, 12 for 26, 2 for 8 for, from 3. Oh God! I'm just playing with these dudes. Like, why? Why? Like I said, nobody on the Celtics in the, in the starting five had a bad game. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, why are you playing with these guys? I mean, why? See, you don't want to do this because you get in there and you start playing with the Wolves, and you start playing West Coast teams that you know really excel. The East ain't all that good. So it's okay, but it's not great. It's not good as the West. We we already know that. So you you start to do this, and you've been doing this. I don't know. I don't know. Basically, all the playoffs, even though you only lost two games, one game in each series, you playing around with these lesser seed teams because most of these games that you did win, they were they were real close. You know, and this is a six seed. This is a, a lower seed than what. Who they play? I forget who they played the first round, but it's it's a lower seed than, uh, oh yeah, it's, it's it's not lower than um Miami, but it's definitely lower than Cleveland. But man, I I, I just can't man. I I can't get aboard with the Celtics and their antics. Just blow them out. Just beat them. Why why are you playing with them? Why does it have to come down to two points, five points, all this nonsense? So to me, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I, I think the Wolves are going to the finals. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they make e easy work of the Mavs, maybe like four two or something like that. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. You know, one, one, one game these the, uh, Wolves are playing great. Next game they're, they're playing like poop. So we don't know. They were playing real bad in that first uh, half in Game Seven. And they came back and won. I don't think they came back and won because they did anything special and clamped Denver down. Denver was just missing shots. <laughs> it's just point blank missing shots. Wide open shots, too. 
You got to get rid of Kevin Porter. I mean, I keep saying Kevin. Michael Porter Jr. You got to get rid of this guy. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. So, yeah. You 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 just can't. I, I, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. And then you had the nerve to take this to over, over, overtime for what? For what? For what? Where are you going to overtime playing against the damn Celtics? For what? A six seed. I, I just can't imagine a great team, a great team, going against a number six seed, the 210 Warriors, the 90s Bulls, the, 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 the great 2000s Lakers. Going against a six seed and playing with them. Like, stop, man. Stop. Sweep sweep this team. If you can't sweep a six seed, you should have did that to Miami in the first place. But if you can't sweep a six seed, what, what are we talking about once you, once you get to the finals and you got to play the Wolves? What, what are we talking about? So I, I'm not going to hold you long on this one, but they, 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 oof. if I'm a Celtics fan, I'm disappointed. I don't care about no win that they pulled out in overtime. I don't care about that. It shouldn't have been an overtime. They should have been pulling their starters, the Celtics, halfway through the fourth quarter. It should be a blowout. You're playing a team that keeps winning by default. What's going to happen next? Jalen Brown and... Tatum is going to go out. I don't remember any team winning two series by default. I, I just don't remember maybe one series. I'm trying to tell you, this ain't the basketball that I watched back in the past. These dudes won to win. You know how bad Patrick Ewing wanted to win championships? He might have had the softest uh, mid-range touch outside the paint on the baseline at the key. Wherever. The man played his heart out, but never played with a superstar. He had great players that never took that next step to become a superstar. But he still went out there and played with bad knees. Game after game. I'm talking about maybe from, you know, his knees start going bad, probably from 96 on. But he still went out there with, with, with big old knee pads. Looked like he was laying carpet or something. These dudes today don't want to compete. They want to go. They, they want to go on vacation. They don't care about no championship, man. And some of them know they'll never. They'll, they'll just never be as, as good as the guys in the past. Never. Those guys that cemented up top probably won't never be challenged. The Jordans, the, the Wills, the Kareems, the Magics, um, the Shaqs, who else? The Hakeems, the Kobe's, the Birds, uh, the Duncans. All these guys in the top 10, I'm trying to tell you, they will never come out of that top 10. Never. Never. Not not with the effort these guys give. These guys are soft. These guys are weak. That was, it wasn't that the second season Greek Freak went out with an injury? I'm sick of this guy. These guys, this is part of your legacy. Jalen Brunson, this is part of your legacy. We're not trying to say, oh, you were supposed to win. But, man, you got to get out there and, and put together some effort. These guys are always hurt. And this shit looks rigged to me. You know how much money was lost? When people was betting on Milwaukee to win the series? And then when people was betting on New York to win the series? Or game seven? <laughs> Man, you're dealing with a lot of money out here. That's why I can't take none of this serious no more. Now that, that gambling is legal, you, you can't take none of this stuff serious, man. You, you guys tell me what you think, man. No, I'm just trying to spit facts. I'm just trying to tell you what I've seen in the past and what I see now. And the Celtics 
unless they sweep this series and go on to win a championship, if, if they don't do that, they're not an all-time great team. They're just not. And you don't have to be an all-time great team just to win. I mean, if, if you won one championship, you could be an all-time great team and, and, and just beat up on the lesser teams in the playoffs like you're supposed to. And this is supposed to be a defensive team. Don't tell me about no poor Zingas. Tell me what you think.